Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Tech It. This is Scrotitis, and this is episode 28, I believe. We've, uh, we've been at this for a while now, guys, and uh, right off the bat, I'd like to thank all of you guys for all the great support that I've gotten uh, from the, the watching the videos, liking the videos, your comments are always welcome, positive or negative. I just want to express my thanks first and foremost at the, right at the beginning of this episode. So to all you, you, you uh, I don't know if you're fans really, but all, all my viewers, thank you. All right, now that we've got that taken care of, let's get down to business today. And that is the business of making a mob spawner. That's right, boys and girls. We're finally going to get to it. We've got our slime farm up and running down below. And uh, above it is where we're going to build our mob spawner. So as you can see over here, we've got... Uh, this quarry actually uh, finished up yesterday for me, and <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw him or not. We had a cow at the very beginning of the quarry wander in, and he managed to stay alive the entire time. There he is right there. Oops, I punched him. I didn't mean to. Um, so, ooh, we got a little... Oh, no, we did that. We decided to get the surface ores also in this quarry but the main purpose for this was to collect cobblestone um, and that theory didn't work out so well because can I enable hover please there we go um, had some creeper incidents inside the factory I think they came from the roof so we put a, a little enclosure in but uh, that didn't work because we had our recycler running on full blast while we were away, and that actually gave us tons and tons of scrap. So, uh, upcoming episodes, we're going to use this scrap to make a, uh, or we're going to use this to fuel a mass fabricator, but as we all probably know, mass fabricators need massive amounts of energy, and right now the water mill power plant is not that massive source of energy that we uh, thought it was going to be. So um, that's going to be a focus as well as we move forward is, is higher powered uh, power plants. Something that's going to you know, give us juice for everything. But uh, uh, doo -doo -doo, we don't have any buckets. We just have the one water bucket. We're going to have to get more water. I thought we had more buckets over here, but I guess not. Um, possible future power supply. I see a good bit of uranium. I don't know if you guys are thinking what I'm thinking with that uranium, but it's a possibility in the future. So anyway, we are going to get building our... Oh, see? Let's go take a peek at this real quick. We got... More uranium right there. Uh, yeah, but anyway, we need cobble because we're going to be working on today's project, which is a mob grinder, okay? Uh, so I had to hurry up and make a second quarry. And as you can see, we've we got this thing pumping pretty good. We're down to, uh, where are we down to? 33, so this one's almost all the way down as well. Let's, uh... There we go. The, uh, I think that'll get that. Anyway. I saw there was more there. Don't worry, guys. We'll get it later. I wanna, I'm really excited to get into this build. So, first thing first, what we need to do is some measuring. And our slime farm, as you can see, is super productive. Uh... There's more right there. Are they getting stuck on something? Whoa! Holy cow! I 
put a, a bit of a guardrail on this to sort of block. I saw some of the bigger slimes were finding their way in there, and that's a no-no for me. I think it's keeping them out, but they might be able to stand on that lip, so we might have to replace that with, um, with just blocks. But uh, as you can see here, our slime farm is super-duper productive over a stack in this one and uh, this one is just insane I mean we moved some of our down our, our stacks down but look at that so my thought process in this is we can sacrifice a little bit of production with our slime farm and what I mean by that is I think this is gonna be the landing spot for our mob system uh, this is gonna be the drop zone where they fall to their death okay now, with that, we are going to have to do some rewiring because we're going to drop them right down the middle of this. So let's get some spacing marked out first, okay? All right, guys. So I think we've got our levels figured out. What we're going to do is um, go four blocks up from here and that'll allow this level to still be spawnable by our slime so we're not taking away any of our slime spawning spaces um, and then from there that we'll, we'll, uh, we'll dig our holes through all the levels straight down uh, to the bottom floor which is at 10 this is 35 so even if we go five up from here we'll be at 40 that'll give us a 30 block drop which is more than enough to kill your standard mob which is exactly what we want to do all right so let's start by going up one we'll just do like this one two three four five and where does that put us at? is that at 40 that's at 40 all right so we should, what we should do is set up a filler, because we need to fill a single layer of cobble all the way over this level, right there. Um, and done with the butt base. Now, my thought process here is that this is such a large space that why not make two mob spawners out of the area that we have here and it should work um, it should work let's um, I need to lay out our bases first okay all right guys uh, we got it we figured it out and I was at, and it actually fits into this design perfectly we'll have two side by side with no problem shut up over there uh, <laughs> I can't stand that jumping uh, We'll th they won't be able to spawn once we have the mob system up on the other side. Uh, 40. And this is the absolute highest that they can spawn at, too. That's why... I, uh, anyway, okay. So, what this gives us is... I'm going to float up here. It gives us 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 spawning pads per each block. And what we're doing is we're putting a half slab in the center of each because that prevents the spawning of spiders which do not agree with this um, spawning with this mob farm desi design uh, basically because what they do is they they, they can't fall, go through the waterways since they're only one wide um, and so they clog up the system either by squeezing into these areas and not letting other mobs through but then also they're taking up that mob space in terms of the math of the game and and they won't allow anything else to spawn but what we've done here uh, and you don't want these to be waterways because then you get that backup on these spots what we do is you go eight blocks from the center from the drop spot on all four sides and you put in your water block right like that okay you do that on all four sides and then what you do from there see he thinks he's gonna get me this silly guy uh, <laughs> and then from there 
instead of putting it in two more blocks on either side like this, you use this corner block right here. And you just drop it right in. And see, what that does is it goes four and then hits here and joins. You don't get any backflow in any direction. Does the same thing here, and you do that on all four sides. And again, this is so much easier with a jetpack than it would be in, in regular Minecraft. Uh, <laughs> but the design and the system works just the same as it would in regular Minecraft, which is pretty cool. All right, so then you got one more here. And that's a level, guys. That's it. That's all you do. The next thing then to make sure is that you give two blocks and no more for spawning space above this, right? And actually, to and then from there, you just fill in the next level, and you just keep going. Wash, rinse, repeat, right? That's our motto. Um, so that's the level, and uh, oh, reasoning to only leave two spaces. You don't want Endermen to spawn in here. Uh, same reason as the spiders, they take up an extra spawning space and they can't move because they won't fall into the water because water kills them. So just, they'll just stand on the block, wasting that spawn space from what could potentially be a creeper. Uh, <laughs> the main reason I say creeper is because A, you can find zombie and skeleton spawners, but also... Um, you need the creepers for their um, gunpowder. All right. So I am going to go ahead and keep adding blocks here. Um, repeating these layers. And once I've finished and gotten this tower up high enough, we'll see how our... Actually, oops. You know what, before we get any further and we actually start getting some mobs spawning in here, we should probably work on our death system. So all this is going to be is digging down through these levels. Alright, but one thing we do have to do as we dig down is we have to rewire our lights. Okay, so let's just do it like this. Because we'll probably want to enclose this drop zone. Probably with glass, but uh, just to be certain, we're going to do that here. Where's our block right here? Looks like it's this one. Yeah. Okay. So I think you guys get this, right? Not a very difficult concept. Hopefully we have enough red alloy wiring at least to do this side. I'm not worried about the other side yet. Even though it will be done eventually. <laughs> um, Alright. So, yeah. That's going to be our drop. I'm going to get the wiring re-run. Re Say that five times fast, right? And uh, probably fetch some glass from up above and we'll work on enclosing our drop zone. And uh, fancying this up a bit, but we are almost all done, guys. So uh, stay tuned. All right, guys. Well, we've been busy. Uh, as you can see, this is the actual top of our quarry now this side you're gonna say well you don't look like you're too busy um, I actually had to take a break off because we ran out of cobble because we sucked this quarry dry so I went ahead and started a new one right here as you can see it's just getting started but uh, we'll be getting some more cobble pumped out of it soon enough to begin construction on this side uh, but I wanted to show you what we've done over here so far, all right? Now, this is the highest level. The goal here is to send this up into the sky at least three more levels, if not more. Uh, I want it to be a, a tower, and I'm going to build a 
a structure around the outside of it that um, is going to allow me to go to the top and sort of overlook everything. And I think that'll give us a good base for our next steps for this area. Um, but for right now, this is what we've got going on. Okay. So, yeah, let's... Uh, there's our jetpack. Our jetpack's doing all right. So let's go ahead and take a trip down and uh, see what we've got going on. Do we have... We've got glass, too. Okay, perfect. So we've got one level here. Two... Three, four, five, six. So we've got six levels, and then what we've done is we made a glass shaft all the way down to the bottom here. All right, oh, and we had some skeletons die down here. Look like you actually just despawned. <laughs> I moved away, <laughs> away just at the perfect time to allow that to despawn. So it is, in fact, working, but the proof is going to be even better than that because what we're going to do, we need to get rid of some of these guys first. Um, go. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go, 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 go. We don't have time to let this slide. Come on. Let's go. Get down there. Uh, by the way, our slime farm is just crazy productive right now. <laughs> Since we've been working in this area, it's allowed the slimes to, to spawn, and they are just going nuts. Tons over there, tons over here. Yeah, I'd say so. So, anyway. Um, what did we decide? Shoot, I think what I want to do is take it up this side. Is this it? I think that's it there. Hold on. Let's fly up here real quick. Oh. Missed the hole. There we go. Wait, no. No. Wait, where are we at? Hold on. How did we get in here? Oh, that's how. <laughs> Um, I want to run the piping right up this wall, right here. Ouch. Need that hover on. There we go. Oh. There we go. Uh, but I want to run the pipes, and I'm thinking about just running up one pipe for right now. And I'm going to connect the slime form to it. And then once it gets here, we're going to hook, or even... Maybe in here we'll hook a diamond pipe up to it so we have a bunch. That would actually be cool. I think we'll do that. And then we'll have them all coming into their own. Seven. All right, here we go. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And what we'll do is we will just do one each in the back of each. One, two... I did that wrong. I need to start with stone because we have more of those. Nope. Stone. Ah. Uh huh. Cobble. Stone. Cobble. Stone. Stone. Cobble. Perfect. And we're going to need seven signs, but we don't have room in our inventory right now for the seven signs. All right, so let's get down to the bottom and do our wiring from there. I think we need to put a floor in right here. I think that might not be a bad idea. So let's... Uh Just do this, one, two, and maybe even do something like this so it stands out, so we know that's where <laughs> our direct pathway up. We'll decorate it maybe with some lights later. I like that idea. Oh, we've got lots of skeletons coming and dying. Look at that. So what we need to do first is we need to get an obsidian pipe. Well, let's see 
How far down do we, oh, 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 how far down do we need to go? One, two, three, four down. So we need to get our piping. Uh, this should be interesting. We need to get our piping to there. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and dig this hole out and see how this works, okay? All right, so we made it out of there. Oh, that's not what we wanted to put. Hopefully now... You know what? We might have to block that in the rest of the way when we're out of glass. Mm. Well, we'll leave it like that for now. I don't know if it... Those things are exploding out of the way. We're going to have to use cobble for now until we can get more glass down here, but we need everything to fall down this chute and die. There. Okay, so let's make our way over here. We need to dig down directly. This looks good here. Oh! No, no, no. Uh, I forgot about that lava. Hmm. <laughs> that was almost a disaster. Uh, you know what, guys? We're going to have to go into the wall one, two more, actually, aren't we? Uh, rule one of Minecraft, never dig directly below yourself. Remember that rule? All right, guys. So here we go. We've got it all piped up properly. Uh, it looks like a mess, I know, and it, well, it pretty much is a mess. Uh, <laughs> we we went through a good bit of resources here, but uh, we finally got it all figured out. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to do these three chests. We're going to start with skeleton stuff, and I think what we'll do first is in this chest will be bones. Okay, so we need to follow that to here. And the blue is going to be bones. And that's going to go into this one. So we know. Okay. And then this one is going to be arrows. So we don't want to put all of them. We'll put one in there. And that's going to go into our yellow on this diamond. On this diamond sorting pipe there. And then... This one will be bows, but um, we don't have a lot of extras, so we'll have to just put one into the sorter, and hopefully we get more. Okay, so then next we'll do, let's do our gunpowder right in the middle, because that's, that's going to be our most important one. That's the one we hope we get filled up m with the most, and that's going to be blue on this one. Perfect. And then let's see if I can get out of here and over to this side. Um, we've got slime balls, which we know there's going to be tons of these. We've got lots of those to bring up. And that's going to be in this stone pipe to here, which is green. Oh, look. We already got bones going up. Did we... Is that the way that's going to work? Yeah, that, that, that's right. Okay. If, you, if it's unsorted, then it's going to go up to this one. And then this is going over here. Is that where we designated it? Is this bone? Yes, it is. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I got distracted there for a second. Hold on. Um, so then this one is going to be zombie flesh. Blech. Really no purpose for that one whatsoever unless we want to get just... Um, herds of, of, of wolves and we'll feed them our, our zombie flesh that we collect and then the remaining is going to go out that red one and into this final chest if any of the zombies drop anything any iron um what else can they drop iron ingots uh shovel swords i think that's the max to what they drop so uh that's that um uh, some Didn't red work lamps. Out. I thought red would be kind of neat to wire up here. Um, but let's go ahead and grab a quick snooze. I think we'll just do some red lamps like that for the time being. Kind of frame that in. Uh, 
I'm going to grab a quick snooze and then meet you guys back out here in the morning, okay? Alright guys, so I wanted to jump down here real quick. I grabbed a bunch of signs. Actually, we only need seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Two, four, six, seven. So we can leave these down here. And let's take some of our slime balls up with us. But uh, I wanted to show you the uh, piping that we did down here. So this, we, we had the chest here, and we just decided just to run this right along this side. And we have that going into an iron pipe that's going to allow inputs from both there and there, but not back in. So that's going to go up along here. Um, this then is coming from that mob spawner, and so it comes up. And in here, we have another iron pipe that is going to only allow inputs. Actually, I shouldn't. This should probably be the iron pipe, shouldn't it? Let's. Oh, dang. Let's change that to this one being. There we go. And that's going to allow in, and this is going to go. And then it's going to go down this way, and then it's going to go up. Okay. So then from there. Oh, shoot. <laughs> we didn't have our jetpack on. That could have been disastrous. Where'd our iron pipe go? Oh, well, we'll have to make some more. It's not like we don't have a, enough iron. So anyway, then that goes up our side. Okay. And it's a slow climb up. <laughs> now, uh, I do want to mark this with lamps, but I just didn't bring them down with me this time. There's our tunnel, and then here, you see this is continues up. Uh, and then actually, I don't know if we're going to be able to get up out of this, are we? No, we're going to have to dig a little hole here. Oh! And we broke a pipe. Of course, we broke a pipe, and we don't have any cobble. Oh, we do. Okay, good. Uh, that's there. And then here we go. So this is our miscellaneous. I think that's sort of fitting that that went there. So let's just do a bunch of stars. Miss. And like I said, this is primarily for every the, all the extra stuff from the zombie. Actually, let's put that. Uh, we'll do z zombie miss. Okay. Done with that one. Uh, this one is our zombie flesh. Zombie flesh. Oh, so anyway, guys, what I wanted to talk to you guys about real quick as I finish labeling these. Um, I've been checking out Feed the Beast. I haven't actually played it yet myself, but I've been watching tons of videos, and it looks like tons and tons of fun. Uh, one, there's, there's all sorts of added mobs. The new version, 1.4.5, is it? Or 4.4? version of Feed the Beast came out. I don't remember which one it is. But uh, one of the drops is zombie brains. I have no idea what you do with the item, but just the idea that you get zombie brains, I think it's just amazing. Um, but uh, you guys that uh, are subscribed and watch regularly, or if you know you just happened upon this video, let me know what you think of Feed the Beast, and let me know if it's something you'd be interested in seeing me play. Um, because I'm definitely interested in checking it out, it's just I don't want to take away from either one of my two current series, which I feel like it would do um, if I started playing it uh, without, like I said, supplementing one of the the two current series, the the vanilla Minecraft series, or or this one, the Let's Play Tekken series. So, just something to think about between now and then. This is an empty chest, so this must be the bows. And we'll call this uh, Skelly Bows. Not Bones, Skelly Bows. That one's going to take a while to fill up, I have a feeling. And this one is our Arrows. Arrows. Which, hopefully, that's not our primary source. We do have the Skelly Spawner. So, And this is our Bones. Which, hopefully, we... Uh, 
have that figured out right. Skelly bones. All right. So I think that's going to do it there, guys. We've got a little sorting system right here. I think we're going to cover this up with some glass. We got glass? Yeah, we got some glass. Because we don't have any need to mess with it anymore. We'll cover that up with glass. that so we can see all of our sortings and things coming up uh, here is the pattern that we used again we borrowed this from etho uh, it's the most effective build uh, efficient for the space and speed that I've seen uh, again this is our mob spawner that we just built uh, we're gonna continue to build up as our quarries continue to dig down and get us more resources so wow this one uh, this one's been working over time too Alright guys, so anyway, uh, I think that's going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I definitely enjoyed making it. I, I can't wait to expand on it. So, uh, once again guys, this has been uh, Let's Play Tech It. This is Scrotitis. I hope you guys had fun. I always did. And I will check you guys later in the next episode. Alright? We'll see ya.